Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I have the Radiant Wise Spirit tarot deck on the tarot table today. It's nothing fancy, it's a standard Rider Waite tarot deck and I'm going to be doing two short readings with it uh, today, just five card readings and of course the book is still the big news. My copy, I have ordered it from Amazon uh, UK, that's where I got my copy. I was notified yesterday, in fact just as I started doing the reading yesterday, that it's on its way. It is being sent, couriered to me here in South Africa. So uh, definitely books are making their way from the publisher's warehouses, the printing warehouses to us consumers. Uh, I'm not expecting bombshells now uh, from what I have read so far and heard so far. I don't think we're going to get any huge bombshells. I think the big stories, the alleged surrogacy, the things like that are going to wait for another day, for another takedown. But so far it seems death by a thousand cuts. It does seem as if uh, Megan's character is being thoroughly demolished by this book. And uh, so it's tough times for the Harkles. If you're a Harkle supporter or if you are a Harkle, Harry and Meghan, tough times. And things were decidedly tough for them when we last saw them. And that was over the weekend, of course, in New York. The Nelson Mandela speech. I've done a few readings on that already. And uh, now I want to have a look and see whether, in fact, uh, Meghan is devaluing Harry. Uh, allegedly she is a narcissist. That is the speculation. That is my unprofessional uh, opinion. Uh, point you to the disclaimer in the box below and this is a tarot reading. This is for entertainment purposes. This is all my opinion. It's all allegations. It's all speculation for entertainment purposes. Uh, but the, the speculation goes that she is a narcissist and when things end with narcissists they end badly and the last phase before the discard phase is the devaluation phase and it does look as if Harry might be in that phase and uh, Body Language Guy had a video recently saying that Megan seems to be deliberately undermining him, making a laughing stock of him, enjoying his misfortune. The speech at the United Nations, there was no one there, they were all playing on their phones, they were ignoring him, he was very angry, he was humiliated. The speech was laughable uh, that she allegedly wrote. Um, a very unfortunate photos of him on Getty Images rummaging in the back of their car outside the United Nations. He looks, um, it's a very disturbing photo, he looks like he's a half-wit, he looks um, like he's a drooling idiot really. Um, it's very very disturbing body language guys here is a swift phone call and it would be taken down so why is it still up there? They allegedly also had a massive fight in the hotel the night before the speech. Megan very angry, Megan very angry about the fact that Harry is the one that's getting all the prominence. She of course wasn't invited um, to introduce him at the United Nations. She had to sit with her rictus grin plastered on her face while he had all the limelight. Um, she's furious allegedly according to the rumor that he's the one getting all the attention all the notice everybody wants him they want him for his book for his fame for his royal connections all the rest of it and nobody wants her her own independent brand hasn't been established she's very angry about it so that's all alleged that's all rumor that's all allegation um I am not going to be looking at the fight, the alleged fight. I have looked into their um, quite a violent life, alleged violent life before on this channel. I'm going to be just looking to see how she feels about Prince Harry right now, how she feels about the fact that his, uh, his brand, his own individual brand is still doing reasonably well, whereas hers is in free form. Nobody wants her. It hasn't succeeded. And um, is she really trying to undermine him, trying to devalue him, and what will the outcome be? So that's the five card reading that I'm doing today, and I think we're ready. I think we're ready. When I see the Emperor in reverse flying out of the deck, I do think we are ready. Five card reading coming up is Megan trying to devalue Harry. Have they got to that stage in their relationship where it is destruction now and undermining and um, getting ready for the discard? And uh, have a look and see. 
the energy certainly is bad and people are certainly talking about it now. I, just in my world, people who weren't interested in their story, the story has now hit their consciousness and uh, conflict. We see conflict as the underlying energy of this reading. Five of Swords, sorry about the shine from the light. Um, Five of Swords is fighting. It's literally is literally the hollow victory card of tarot. If you Google the meaning of the Five of Swords, it's one of the things that will come up with as keywords is hollow victory, Five of Swords. It's a, it's a, it's a defeating someone who is really helpless and vulnerable. You can see this character has a smug, triumphant energy, but the people in the background, the people this character has defeated are vulnerable, weak, uh, um, broken. They're broken people. It, it probably is the most appropriate card that universe could send to us for this reading as the underlying energy. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, it's a thousand percent saying, yeah, we're in this phase now of destruction, of uh, competing, annihilating, defeating, uh, defeating for the sake of defeating someone, not uh, even for a higher purpose or anything like that. Conflict, the only um, purpose of this conflict is to hurt and to wound and to injure and humiliate. Um, so the situation, the heart of the matter right now, the imbalance in the relationship is clear from this card, the Six of Pentacles, uh, which is about equal give and take when it's upright, sharing, being kind, being generous, being charitable. But really, it's about um, putting in effort and and being uh, generous with your energy and kind with your energy and sharing in a, in a relationship we're talking about a couple now when the card is in the reverse if you're doing a relationship spread you're reading on a situation between two people and you get that card in the reverse you know that one of the people in the relationship is putting in all the effort and the other person in the relationship is taking and so that it is about who is putting value into the relationship, effort, work into the relationship, and who is taking from the relationship. And allegedly, the argument in the hotel the night before the speech was precisely about that, about Megan's idea that Harry is the one who is taking all the benefit from the relationship. I should imagine she feels pretty aggrieved. It sounds like um, she's lining up all their gigs, all their deals, and yet he is the one who ends up in the limelight, if you can call that sad room at the United Nations, that sad speech to the empty room, if you can call that the limelight. But a uh, begrudgment, begrudgment about effort put in and um, not getting um, equal um, and not, not getting the same effort back. Both of them, I would imagine, feel that about their relationship right now. Resentment. It's a resentment card. So we're getting um, very nasty energy. Let's see how she feels about Harry right now. How does she feel about her husband right now? Justice. Um, justice is about balance. It is about balance. It is about wanting justice, um, wanting fairness. She wants her... Uh, her equality she wants to be his equal um, it's not a card of love it's not a card of um, it's not an emotional card it's a it's an intellectual card it's it's a card of literally I want to be the same status as you I want to be equally important as you I want to be perceived um, as being the same level as you and as important as you. It's about balance between people. This is out of balance, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. She wants to balance the situation. She wants to even things out. She definitely feels hard done by right now and is definitely the one with this begrudging energy right now. Um, Justice card, is just also, by the way, is lawsuits, is litigation, is divorce. Uh, it is in the upright but it could be on her mind that she's thinking about legal proceedings and she's thinking along those lines. Just my opinion, of course, and all speculation. How does she feel about the fact that Prince Harry is the one in the limelight? And we've already seen she doesn't like it at all, but I did ask specifically. The universe has already um, answered me uh, to a large extent, but how does she feel about the fact that he's the one giving the speeches? He's the one whose book is um, going to be a big, big thing. He's the one um, playing polo. He's the one doing everything, and she's the one in the supporting role. How does she feel about being in the supporting role? Um, very emotional about it. 
medicine it's not a negative card it's not a card in the reverse but she is emotional about it um, it's something that is pressing buttons for her it's triggering for her it is um, it's something that uh, I think she's talking about a lot in a very emotional way it's a new start ace of cups it's a new beginning it is tears tears falling tears falling it's always excess of emotion the ace of cups even when it's upright there's this hand coming out this this idea that it's not fair it's not fair it's all upright but it's not fair um and she i, I, th I think she hasn't flipped yet into the real negativity she's at this place of being uh, harping on about it lots of tears about it lots of agitation about it um lots of crying to people maybe on the phone uh, also to him her hand out saying if you loved me then you would include me you would make sure that i was part of the deal you would have made sure that i was on the stage there with you at the united nations and so on and so on um so um, he, of course, was the big news at the Invictus Games. Neither of them was the big news at the Jubilee Ceremony. So it's been an ongoing thing for Meghan Markle that she really has not um, accomplished anything recently. She's upset about it very clearly with that Ace of Cups card, uh, but not upset yet to the extent that um, ready to leave. We'll see what the outcome is, but that's so far. The energy is wanting this to be sorted out. Uh, in the marriage um, is she undermining him is she deliberately setting him up to look like a fool to fail to be a subject of mockery an object of mockery to humiliate him very likely with the queen of wands in reverse very likely um, that is her literally fire sign woman she's a leo um, when the queen of wands is in the reverse she's very angry she's very uh, melodramatic that's the fight that's the fight in the hotel room about things being unfair it's sitting under the six of pentacles it's telling me that she really does feel hard done by she really does feel very angry about this a very a life is very unfair and she's very upset about it very um and it could well be broken crockery with the queen of wands in reverse because it's a fire it's a fiery argument it's not someone who goes and lies on her bed and sobs into her pillow that would be a queen of cups in reverse a queen of wands in reverse there's going to be um missiles flung uh, generally that's uh, that's what the archetype does in the the queen of wands it's an angry energy it's a combative energy it's a very melodramatic energy you'll know about it when you've upset a queen of wands because you will have to duck and you will have to probably take evasive action um, so she is extremely angry and that anger could be what motivates her to leave things up on um, getty images that a kinder woman um, a more um, caring woman would take down make sure disappeared um, would have probably listened to the speech writers more um, yeah there is there is problem here we always remember we've got this five of swords underlying everything even the justice card even the ace of cups so even though these cards are upright and on the face of them are good positive healthy cards i'm reading them with this as the underlying energy just for you out there who are learning tarot and following along and wondering what's going on this is what's going on this is the underlining in it under lying energy this is the fighting card the hollow victory card it's sitting under everything so she will just she will be destructive and this is the gist of tom bauer's book that somebody who thinks she's so successful is in fact incredibly self-destructive queen of wands is self-destructive five of swords is self-destructive energy sitting under here because she feels that she isn't getting enough attention enough notice outcome in this current energy what is going to be the outcome uh, not the forever outcome but the near future in um, outcome the judgment card in reverse sitting under the justice card very interesting we've got two quite illegal cards sitting here judgment is a decision card it's an awakening when it's um, upright it is a realization a dawning awareness of something um, an understanding of something and thinking okay well um, also I get another chance at something but the card is in the reverse the judgment card is in reverse tells me that there is no second chance here it could all be over 
pretty soon with that judgment card in reverse. She could make a decision, a very final decision, judgment in reverse, a very final decision not to stick this relationship out, not to give it another whirl, not to say, all right, um, we will recover from this, we'll make our peace, we'll patch things up and on we go. Not looking that way. It's a big card, judgment in reverse. It's a bad decision um, when it is in reverse. Uh, it's a foolish decision sometimes. Um, something that's not thought through very well. Something that maybe is a bit radical, a bit rash. Um, something that she may in fact be judged for at some stage. It's a bit like sending the, re uh, the rings back in the post to Trivity Triv Triv. And it's something that uh, sticks in people's crawl. It's a very nasty thing to do. Uh, but it looks as if she may well be contemplating her options, considering her options, her legal options uh, with these cards. Not a happy relationship. It's not a happy household. Uh, we never see it as a happy household. But uh, this looks quite sinister. This looks quite terminal um, uh, from the Queen of Wands point of view. So that's that first reading and I will hop on to the next one.